Everybody's talking about Carlos Alcaraz, and mainly when we talk about him, of course, we talk about how young he is and about his forehand. And I actually made two videos already on his forehand because it is phenomenal. So check out the links below in the description. But today I want to check out his serve. And I'm going to use Dr. Mark Kovacs eight stage model because I found that really, really helpful in breaking down the serve step by step by step and also to point out what we as mere mortals can try to copy. And I also want to give a huge shout out to Slow Mo Tennis Pro who are allowing me to use their footage. The link to their channel is down below. Go check them out. Great courtside footage of all kinds of pros. So let's get going with the Carlos Alcaraz serve. First stage in the serve is the starting position. And that is a lot of times where rec players are already getting in trouble because of one main thing, the wrong grip. So Carlos Alcaraz has a continental grip and that is the grip that you need to develop a great serve. And then you see his positioning, the tip of his left foot, if we were to see that from the back, it would point to the net post and or the alley. And that's exactly what you want to do. You have a little bit more of a shoulder width stance here and his right leg is staggered behind his left. And that already starts to give him a little turn of the hip because that is super important in the later stages. And then if I'm rolling this forward, we see that he's transferring his body weight back to his back foot. Now the hands are releasing. So both hands, yes, did go down together, but now you're seeing a distinct separation in the height of the arms. So that old down together, up together is not happening. So you clearly see that his left arm is very much above his right. Other key aspects here of the toss, and this is the second stage, the release stage, he's releasing the ball from his hand about eye level to the top of his head. And that is another characteristic, another fundamental that all great servers share because it makes for a really consistent ball toss. And what you're seeing here, the toss is perpendicular to the court. So he's not having an angle. He's not tossing the ball much further into the court. And that sometimes we see, for instance, O'Reilly Opelka tosses the ball much more inside of the court. Uh, Nick Kyrgios does that. Carlos Alcaraz still has, of course, by virtue of his tossing arm pointing to the net post the ball in front of him here so he doesn't have to deliberately toss it further out in front next key point is you see that his left arm is completely straight so you want to avoid having any kind of bend in your elbow because again that does not help the consistency of your toss and now we're coming into the most crucial stage of the serve and I know in a lot of lessons, we're focusing on the contact point. And the issues are on the contact point, most often a function of something that's not quite correct in the loading stage, or even, of course, in the release stage, meaning that the ball toss is all over the place. And that, to my mind, actually, is one of the biggest issues that my clients have. And that is why the contact varies so much if we have flaws in the first three stages. So stage number three, loading stage or power position. I think a lot of coaches call it as well. So this is where if you have a pinpoint stance, like Carlos Alcaraz does, when you bring your back foot behind your front foot, what you don't want to do is you do not want to put your right foot here parallel to the left because that means that you prematurely opening your hip and that is where you're losing a lot of control and power. You have the arm here at its lowest point. The elbow is its lowest point and it corresponds with the lowest bend in your knees. Tip of the racket is up 
and you clearly see this cocking position here. You also, if we were to see that from the back, would see a slight hip turn. So that the right hip actually points down and back a little bit more. So you're loading into your back leg. At this point, Carlos Alcaraz has more body weight on his back leg, on his back foot, than on his front foot. And that's why we're talking a lot about loading into your back leg. Load the back leg. Load down and back because you want to go from this position, down and back, to up and slightly forward. The image that I'm always using is think about a spring. If you want to coil it, you coil it down and back and the counter movement to that is up and out. So the loading down and back is the action and the reaction is the going up and out to contact point. Couple of other things to notice, shoulder over shoulder and hip over hip. So here the hitting arm is below the toss arm. So here the hitting shoulder is below the toss shoulder and the right hip is below the left. And from this position, we're getting into the cocking position, stage four. And the characteristics here are tip of the racket points to the ground. You have a reversal of the shoulder over shoulder. And if we were to look at Carlos Alcaraz from the other side of the court, we would still see him side on. In addition to the inside of the wrist, the inside of the elbow, the thoracic spine, this part here of the chest are also all looking up. And this is not necessarily the easiest position to get into if you have physical limitations. So for instance, if your shoulder mobility or your thoracic spine mobility is not the best, you will have issues getting into this position. And that is not through any fault of your own. That's just how you are as a human being. But this is a position that all good servers have in common. And then lastly, you have the left arm tucked here in front of the belly button and of course eyes are up on the ball. Stage five of the serve, acceleration. So this is just the extension of your arm and of course all the power that you created in the loading position. Accelerate up to contact point. And we're seeing that here if you look at the edge of the racket, this is what Carlos Alcaraz is leading with. And then as he's going up to contact, depending on what kind of serve he's hitting, there is a forearm pronation and an internal shoulder rotation. We'll see that in a second a little bit more. But let's talk about the contact point that we're unfortunately not quite seeing up here. But trust me, it's there. And it is in front of him. It is inside the court. So a lot of times what we're hearing is that you want to be fully extended. The full extension is here. The arm wants to be extended. Your body actually does not want to be fully extended because that would put a lot of strain on your shoulder if you were to make contact somewhere up here. So this tilt here is perfectly normal and actually again one of the characteristics of a great serve. And then stage seven. So after contact, you see the continuation of that forearm pronation in combination with that internal shoulder rotation. And the key part that we see, and that sometimes baffles people that have not necessarily studied serve motions as much, is that the side with which the server hits the ball is actually pointing to us. But again, that's just a sign of a great serve and is one of the fundamentals that you want to have and need to have if you want to hit a good serve, which can be problematic, again, if you have physical limitations. I'm one of these people after my shoulder surgeries, that was something that I had a really, really hard time achieving and it also reflected in my serve 
in addition to not necessarily getting into the best cocking position. So that's just physical limitations that I had, but we don't, of course, see that here in Collar's Alcaraz. You still see that the left arm is tucked and we still don't see that he's fully turned open. The right hip is still a little bit further back, another sign of a great serve. And this is something that you see a lot in rec tennis that at this point, if we were to look from the other side, we would see a clear space between the legs from the other side of the court. So the deceleration continues to happen. We're going into the finish, landing on the left foot, great balance, head is completely still. The right leg comes up in this dog leg kick and that is a function of keeping your balance, as is the shooting back of the left arm. And this here is one of the things that you want to be really careful with. This is a function of how much work and how much power you created in your loading stage. So I do see a lot of people working on this landing stage, but they never created that much energy to begin with in this loading step. So again, this is a function. This is something that looks the same on all great servers. If you try to force yourself into this position, it's not going to help your serve. And then of course, which I'm adding on to the eight stage model, stage nine, an immediate recovery. 